Look, it's been a good half for BHP. Uh, we had an EBITDA of $10.5 billion, which is a, a margin of 52%. We uh, delivered a free cash flow of $3.6 billion. Uh, we received uh, the proceeds uh, from uh, the sale of US shale. These results mean that the shareholders receive a lot of cash. Uh, $13 billion, uh, to, to be precise. For uh, at this result period, we've declared a dividend of $0.55 cents per share, which is a payout ratio of 75%. We invested more in the business, $3.5 billion. Again, a very high value, uh, strong uh, growth uh, projects. We invested, in fact, a little bit more this year. And we've got a strong suite of projects underway today, but in fact we've got a series of options that we are still working over, which we expect that we will be able to put into action in the years to come. We are capable of further improving safety, production uh, and reducing unit cost. The long-term future for BHP is, is very positive because the underlying demand for our products is driven by rising populations and those populations seeking higher standards of living. We have a transformation program which we believe will deliver competitive performance. We also uh, are relying heavily on our new centres of excellence for things like maintenance, geoscience and, 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 and projects. Automation is going to play quite a big role as we go forward and it's very much part of our, our technology plans. Uh, the product of, of all of this will be a more valuable company but also a more stable set of operations which, which inevitably will therefore be safer uh, and, uh, and more productive. Uh, but then we want to add some more um, and we have a rich suite of potential options uh, for growth that we believe can, uh, if we choose to take those options in line with our capital allocation framework, uh, can um, add significantly to our, uh, uh, our volumes in, in copper and in oil and potentially add some potash.